We all know libraries and their services are supposed to be available to everyone. It's even in Wisconsin law that libraries have to be accessible to people with special needs. But how can we predict which special needs we need to accommodate? Or which unique combinations of barriers and assets people will need to address? The Inclusive Services Assessment and Guide for Wisconsin Public Libraries is meant to be your roadmap for these issues. How to best use it will look different for every library. However, there are some commonalities in the overall approach. To illustrate, let's see how a library director named Camila has evolved in her thinking on how to make library services inclusive. Camila always felt pretty good about the work she and her staff did to make the community welcome. She knows some patrons personally, there are wheelchair accessible entrances, and some materials in Spanish. We used to think serving everyone in the community meant making a list of known barriers, and as time allows, addressing them. But Camila starts thinking somewhat differently after Marco comes to the library and asks if there's a private room where he can connect to the internet. There's a meeting room, staff tell him, but it doesn't have good Wi-Fi. People use the room for things like story time and discussions, but there's Wi-Fi in all the common spaces. Marco leaves, and this surprises Camila. What she doesn't know is Marco's story. He's been staying with his parents as he tries to get his life in order after leaving the armed forces. He joined an online veteran support group, but his parents' Wi-Fi is unreliable. He needs a better connection to talk with the group, but in a private place. Luckily, Camila's curiosity helps her draw him out when she bumps into him later. Hearing his situation, it hits her. You have no way of knowing the needs of people who don't use your services, unless you create opportunities to learn. From then on, getting beyond her assumptions to discover and address people's actual needs for information and services becomes one of Camila's ongoing quests as a director. In her conversations in the community, formal and informal, including regular meetings with community organizations and other channels, she works to understand needs and barriers, and she addresses them whenever possible. With this mindset, she's better prepared. At a community event one day, Ashley asks how to start checking out books for her kids. Staff ask Ashley to provide a different photo ID one with her current address. Camila doesn't want to repeat what happened with Marco. So she asks Ashley how well the library policy works for her. It turns out Ashley just moved to town and is staying with her brother while she looks for work. So it could be a long time before she has an official document with her name and current address. Camila and her staff decide the library could start sending returnable postcards for proof of address. Camila immediately begins working to revise the policy with her library board. At the state level, this is the inclusion mindset we're now articulating, an ongoing drive to discover the needs in the community, and an ongoing commitment to problem solving and fixing current procedures that stand in the way of serving particular people. Special attention is always necessary to hear the voices of people who are underserved or underrecognized. One tool for this ongoing work is the Inclusive Services Assessment and Guide for Wisconsin Public Libraries. It was created by library staff from around the state and the public library development team. It includes prompts to get you thinking on everything from governance to physical space. The guide is most useful when embedded into your ongoing quest as a library professional. We suggest taking the self-assessment at a realistic pace and returning to it in reflection and discussion. Inclusive services promise lots of benefits. They're the reason Ashley and Marco join the growing number of people who use, appreciate, and advocate for the services Camila's staff have been providing for years. To get answers to your questions about inclusive services and to find the self-assessment and guide, visit the Inclusive Services page on the Department of Public Instruction website.